Hey there YouTube, Practical Schroeder coming at you with an unboxing video. Oh man, what's in there? What's in there? Oh, what's in the box? Could it be an H and K? Could it be a Smith & Wesson? Nah, it's a Glock. Let's take a look. This is a Gen 4 Glock 17. Um, Rarely featured here on my channel is uh, I actually have a Glock 19. So before any of you go, maybe you should have just got a 19. I already got one. Anyway, um, I'm excited to add this to the channel. Be it that this is a brand new gun, I'm going to have you all follow along with me. Um, so I'm just going to touch on it real quick. Why did I choose a Gen 4 over a Gen 3? Primarily, it has to do with that right there. I like the texturing better. And I'm not really a big fan of stippling. And that comes with a third mag. Eh, buying magazines is a pain in the ass, and I really don't like having to do it. Now, uh, something else that comes with a Glock Gen 4 are these. The little backstrap pack. So, over here on this side, you see this pin right there? That actually pops out. Lost it. Where'd it go? There it is. All right. This little pin is a little bit longer than the pin that's already in the gun. Right there. That's what holds these on. I personally think it's a little bit tacky. So you got some little clips right there at the bottom. And then on these ones, you got a little clip right there. And that snaps in there. Into those little buggers right there um does it work yes i'm sure it does but uh whatever um mostly i'm just excited to get this onto the channel so there'll be a couple of videos coming out over the next month or two about this uh one of the very first ones is going to be that i'm replacing these sites uh, as ken hackathorn put it best these are just there to fill the slots until you get real sites i've got some um Wilson Combat Vickers Tactical Sites coming in, and not because I drink from the Larry Vickers Kool-Aid, but because a buddy of mine had a Glock 17 with those sites on it, and they really agreed with me. So uh, I'm going to try them out and see if I like them. I've tried out Trigicons, I've tried out Factory Glock Sites and Factory Glock Night Sites, and um, I really like those Larry Vickers Sites. So if you all want to follow along, that's where we're heading with this. So... Let's just cover the other stuff that's in the box real fast. We have your uh, obligatory lock. Uh, cheap shit lock mag loader. Mm -hmm. Let's see how this looks. Mm -hmm. mm. Okie dokie. Gimmicky. Okay, you've also got your little cleaning rod. That can actually be kind of cool. I wonder how many of y'all have ever seen the 1911 trick where you shoot the pencil out the barrel. Nope, didn't work. Worth a shot. And then this little cleaning brush, which is nylon. Anything else in the box? Okay, yeah. Important safeguards. Mmm. Jesus. Well, it's an unboxing, so let's see what's in it. Truth be told, I've been playing with this Glock for like three days, and I haven't opened up this fucking package. Jesus, look at all that. This is probably stuffed in here by lawyers over at the Glock factory. They're probably licking themselves every time they include this. Oh, wow. Hmm. Apparently this was supposed to be attached to the 4473. <laughs> okay. Mm, GSSF. Mm -hmm. I've actually shot some GSF set, GSSF matches. They're okay. They give you a coupon to get a, a Glock for pretty cheap. And that would be the... Um, just to cover on that real quick. GSSF will give you a coupon to buy a Glock for basically blue label prices, which is cheap. We're talking like $450 brand new. 
if you sign up for their membership. And there's your memberships. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, wait. Please send my membership package and range bag, too. Mm, so you get a range bag. Mm hmm. I'm new. Will I be able to hit the targets? Mm. Okay. Basic rules of firearm safety. Only point it at people screaming Aloha Akbar. Well, that's a cute little picture. Mm hmm. Wow, this is written for dummies. Mm hmm. This is pretty neat. Hmm. We're hearing protection. That's news to me. Mm hmm. What is this supposed to be? Transport of firearms is regulated by federal and state law. Mm-hmm. I thought that was going to be something like you can put the Glock under the hood of your car and it'll run the car like an engine. You never know. Glocks are pretty versatile. I mean, whatever. Okay, what's this? Join the NRA. That's all right. Down with that. Okay. No idea what this is. Mm hmm. What influenced you to buy a Glock? It's like a survey. Mm. There's the warranty registration card. Okay. I might actually hang on to that. And the instruction manual. Pull trigger, go bang, man. Jeez. Features, nomenclature, loading. I'm sure this is available online if anybody wants to look through that. I'm not going to waste your time and flip through it. Okay, take the envelope, set that aside. Here's our factory proofing round. Nope, that's the Youth Handgun Safety Act. Hey, what the fuck? I don't have a factory proofing round. Are you fucking serious? The bitch ain't in there. Get gone, man. I don't have a factory proofing round. Weird. Anyway, it's 2016 uh, February, so if that gives y'all any idea on when this bad boy was made, that's a good indicator. So, anyway, I know this is kind of boring, uh, but for anybody who's looking to buy a Glock, that's a look inside the box, which is really all this is meant to be. But... If any of you want to follow along, like I said, I will be installing a set of sights on this pistol. I will be shooting it a little bit, just sort of having fun and making videos. So if y'all want to follow along with that, don't forget to click subscribe. And I'm Practical Schroeder, and I will be gladly be making more video content for y'all to watch. Yeah, have a good day.